100 years of my family history began here in Tiger Bay, Cardiff. This was the multicultural community that my grandfather Do'ale Mohammed came as a seaman in 1908. He was more than a seaman, he played a crucial role in the liberation of his homeland. I describe him simply as the founding father of Somali politics in Cardiff in, in Wales and maybe in Britain. He was always a dignified person, very quiet, very calm, always polite, always spoke to you, hello, how are you? But you could see how the way he carried himself, that he had this dignity about him. He spoke really in the measured tones of an academic and he'd also improved his writing uh, to a great extent, but not only English, but he'd also learned to read and write French because at the time he was really actively campaigning, French was the international language of diplomacy. Duala was always active wherever he was. Whether he was in Cardiff or on a ship, he was always involved in the colonial struggle. Duala was a very important part of the country. He was a very important part of the country. آدي 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 دغدغة قوسي ميه سيدي أمد الصومالية أيوه لله الدولد أيه كليه هون أو حريه This movement was the Somali Youth League known as SYL where Duala Mohamed was the head of the UK branch SYL was officially established in Mogadishu in 1943 but evidence proves the movement existed in Cardiff in the mid-30s During this time, to Ale, along with the head of SYL, Abdullahi Ese, went to Paris and New York to present the Somali case at the United Nations. That he was um, a much more politically conscious man, I think, although not the sort of man who thrust his opinions upon people. Well, they reckon these English people, Britain, British, called him a communist. But he wasn't a communist. He, he, well, in one way he was, and one way he wasn't. Due to his political activity, to Ali became a subject of national security. This declassified letter from 1949 details his activities under the watchful eye of the British government. Despite this, Duale pursued and was able to see his homeland gain independence on the 26th of June 1960. He arrived in Aden, Yemen on the 21st of June en route to Somalia but stayed there to give his moving poem, I am born today, to the many Somalis residing there. Musician Hudaydi was also part of the celebration on that day. He is one of the people, one of the few people, I think, like Mandela, who carried throughout his life the same beliefs without a hope of um, self-reward. He was 
working for his people, all his people.